Numerous tributes and reflections surrounding the 9-11 attacks yesterday here and across the country. And it came to our attention here at News 4 at 530 that Buffalo has a unique year-round tribute to 9-11, which many people are not aware of. It is Remembrance Park, which sits on a triangle of land, a traffic island, right outside the Electric Tower in downtown Buffalo, where Huron, Genesee, and Washington streets all come together. And it is much more than just a park. There is great symbolism there. So we asked the architect of this park to join us today and describe it for us, Mike Chadwick, Director of Architecture for Iscalo Development. We thank you for being with us today, Mike. We appreciate it. First, tell us how this project started and what you set out to achieve. Okay. Uh, the the city of Buffalo was doing the uh, Genesee streetscape project, and um, there was already on that triangle um, a dedication, which is a flagpole and a uh, monument stone with a plaque on it. And uh, that wanted to be improved. They wanted to improve the park because it's the beginning of this whole streetscape uh, for Genesee. And uh, so um, with Buffalo Place, and the city of Buffalo, and then um, Isclo Development, as we have, we look right out onto this park. It's almost an extension of our entrance. Um, uh, we just wanted to start looking at some design options. Paul Isclo, the, the owner of Isclo Development and of the Electric Tower, brought me in. Um, I worked for him, and I, he brought me in to just take a look at some design options. And so we ultimately settled on this one here, which um, would you like me to describe? I absolutely would like you to describe, because that's what's so unique about this park. Uh, tell us how it works. Okay. So a regular monument might be something that you stand and uh, gaze at. You don't really get to participate in it. Maybe you lean against it. Um, it may be so large you can sit kind of on the, the lowest portion of the pedestal. Um, in this case, um, it was supposed to be weaving together just a friendly green space park and uh, for people to just take a break. It's an ur urban environment. They need their green space and then weave in the uh, dedication. So um, since that would be a respite, it's a place for people to take a break, uh, the goal was to actually break from that tradition of just staring at a monument and instead be able to participate in it and potentially sit down. And in sitting down, the orientation was set up so that you could actually sit in on the monuments in the direction of the tragedies and be able to uh, express your thoughts and prayers d directly at them. So if you could go up 10,000 feet, um, 20,000 feet, whatever the height would be with, with super binoculars, would be looking directly at, at the sites. Um, and that was the goal for the project. So, Michael, let me just make sure I have this clear, because I've looked at the diagrams here. If you can sit in areas in this park and you will be facing the area of the World Trade Center that collapsed, you'll be facing the Pentagon, you'll even be facing Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where these planes went down, where the tragedy occurred, depending on where you orient yourself in this particular park here in Buffalo. That was, was that your idea? Yes. And um, there are these little plaques in the concrete that kind of show you the axes of plaques, and then there's um, granite, granite axes that go right through um, bands that go right through for the uh, the um, uh, Shanksville Flight 93 and also for the Pentagon. And then there's really just a larger walkway for the Twin Towers. And there's a circle, you know, ground zero uh, that that um, goes around the tower portions. But other than that, there's also meant to just be the meandering kind of paths that allow you to enjoy um, 
sitting even in just some, some regular park benches as well. But yeah, I think just, the enjoyable part just was sit to be able and to sit. remember in Remembrance yeah. Park. Now, Mike, as we close here, I know you've designed a lot of things over your lifetime and career. I would imagine this has to be among the most meaningful for you. Um, I think it just brought tears to my eyes when I just simply had the opportunity. These are, you know, this is a, as important as it gets um, as a topic. To make sure we don't forget. A tribute to all those thousands of lives. Thank you so much, Mike Chadwick from Iskalo Development. We learned something new about our city and this park's place in it today. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank, Mike. Thank you very much.